Are you thinking of retiring early? Or are you wondering if you should retire? Then this video is for you. Welcome to Track Us Down. If you're just finding us, I'm Monique. And I'm Doug. Our channel is all about downshifting to an early retirement, living a healthy lifestyle, and enjoying the freedom that comes with it. After over 25 years of working really hard and raising our family, we decided to retire early, we sold everything, and we began our second half of life here on the beautiful island of Madeira. So retiring early can mean different things to different people, and that's okay. It's all about your own personal situation. There are many factors to consider. It's all about what it means for you personally. Some of the things that you should consider, do you have kids? How old are your kids? Your financial situation in general? Do you have investments put away? Do you have a pension? Do you have good health? These are all things that should be considered before making a decision to retire early. So let's get into the top 10 reasons why we decided it was right for us to retire early at age 50. Number one, because more money isn't everything. Sure, we could have kept working longer and made more money, but at some point we have to ask ourselves, to what end? You're 50? then you're 55, you're making more money, you're 60, you're making more money, but what else is going on in your life? When you finally do retire, maybe you're getting too old, maybe you have health problems, mobility problems. You know, there's a certain freedom in embracing things like minimalism. We sold everything, as Monique said, when we downshifted and sold our house, and there was as much joy in, and freedom in selling everything as there was in acquiring it. But at some point we just thought, do we have enough now? Is there more to life than just working through our 50s and then saving whatever time is left over for the things that we want to do? Number two, because life is short. And yes, we know it's a cliche, but it's true. A study in 2020 by Statistica.com revealed that the average male lifespan in a developed country is 79 years old. For a female, it was 82. So as you go through your 40s and approach 50, those numbers really start to have an impact on you. When you do some simple math, you realize that there's only so much time left. So we like to be really optimistic mm -hmm. and we are planning for our second half of life beginning at 50 and we're planning right through to 100. <laughs> so we know that that's uh, longer than the expected average, but that is how we are looking at our second half of life because life is short. Number three, because making new healthy habits in our 50s will set us up for the future. One thing that we've noticed in our travels is that when we were say hiking in the Alps or in places like Arizona, when you see older people and they're hiking every day up mountains and they've been doing it for years, it's second nature to them and they're in such good shape. We've been pretty healthy throughout our lives and doing things like that in our 30s and 40s. Whereas if you've worked right through to your 60s, 65, 70, and then decide you're gonna start doing it, it's much harder to start those kind of habits. Number four, because more stuff isn't everything. This is something we realized in a very big way that accumulating more and more things would not make us happy as we get older. There was other things that we wanted to do. We also realized that our children probably don't want all the stuff that we're busy accumulating all these years. And there's a lot accumulated. There's a lot. Collecting stuff and having stuff, having to maintain stuff, look after stuff, it actually holds you back and holds you down rather than giving you the freedom that you would like in your retirement. And actually the clutter, the clutter that goes with it, 
there's know, a huge clutter. I'm sure we're not alone in our storage room being full of stuff. And every time you go down there, you see stuff that you've collected over 25 years in a household and mentally and visually, it's just clutter. So when we downshifted to a more minimalist lifestyle and sold all our stuff, there was so much of a freedom that came with, with that. Absolutely, so more stuff isn't the answer. Number five, because we feel we have contributed to society in a meaningful way. Monique worked in education for 29 years and I was in law enforcement for close to 27. We worked hard and at the same time, we raised a beautiful family and launched them into the world so they could start their own journey. So at this point, we feel that it's okay for us to pursue some of the other things that we wanted to do in life before <laughs> we got to the point where we weren't able to anymore. Number six, if you have been to any kind of retirement seminar or you've looked up anything about retirement online, you've probably heard the terms your go-go years, your slow-go years, and your no-go years. Mostly referring to the first 10 years that you retire are your go-go years, you have your health, you have the desire to travel, to do things, those are your go-go years. Your slow-go years, you're still doing things but you've slowed down a little. And in your no-go years, you're pretty sedentary and uh, you need less money. So that's just what's out there about retirement. So when we heard that, we kind of thought, how can we extend those go-go years? So you can do it two ways. One is by retiring early and adding some of those years in your early 50s as well as if you're doing that and you're keeping yourself healthy and you're enjoying your life, you're less stressed, that we can maybe extend that as well. So we're hoping for a 50 to 60, 60 to 70 of the go-go years, maybe 70 to 80 of the slow-go and then maybe the no-go later on. So that is how we've interpreted the typical retirement plan. Number seven, because the world is so big and there is so much to see. We love to travel. We have taken the time during the course of our careers and raising our family to travel all over the world. We've made a point of doing that. Back when I was 21, I traveled to Australia for a year. Later on, we got married, we had kids. People will tell you that you can't travel after you have kids for an extended period of time. When we got married, I thought, you know, we can still do this going forward. So when our kids were seven and 10, back when we were 35 years old, we took a year off. We saved up all our holiday time and bank time and had a deferred leave plan going that we had planned for seven years. We'll talk about all that later, but we traveled around the world for a year. We went to about 32 different countries. It was what we called our world trip. And we always vowed that we would do that again when it was just the two of us. So here we are. We're young enough to do it, we're healthy enough to do it, and we're doing it. We're gonna travel again around the world, just the two of us, in our 50s and beyond. Number eight. Watching other people retire and not really having any plans really motivated us to jump on that early and make plans for our own retirement. So watching other people, what they did and didn't do in their retirement was inspirational for us to take on our retirement early. And number nine, we wanted to set an example, not only for our sons, but prove that the good life doesn't necessarily end in your 50s, that you could still go out there and enjoy the rest of your life doing things, what we call the second half of life. Number 10, age 50 is such a great time as you start your second half of life to start fresh to reinvent yourself, to try new things, to get out in the world and try something new. We believe that those things, along with the other nine reasons, help keep you young and help keep you vibrant moving into the second half of life. 
So if you liked our video on 10 reasons why we retired at age 50 and maybe some of the reasons resonate with you, please leave us a comment down below. If you found this video encouraging, please like and subscribe to our channel, check back in and track us down.